Since the occupation of Sinjar by ISIL fighters in 2014, the city of Sinjar has suffered extensive looting and physical devastation. Thousands of homes, dozens of schools, hospitals, and much of its infrastructure were targeted and purposely destroyed. One of the communities that was most affected by ISIL's occupation is the Yazidi minority group that has inhabited northwestern Iraq for centuries. More than a quarter of a million Yazidis managed to flee from Sinjar district, but many suffered a much worse fate. Thousands of Yazidi men, women and children were kidnapped or killed, with traumatized survivors displaced in camps throughout the Kurdistan region. This was not the first time the Yazidis were displaced and marginalized on the basis of their ethnic and religious affiliation. In the 1970s, the former regime notoriously destroyed 146 Yazidi pastoral villages set on the slopes of Mount Sinjar. Forced to relocate in compounds in the plain, the Yazidis were denied the right of owning their newly allocated land. This situation was never properly addressed until today. After the liberation of Sinjar in 2015, you inhabited intervened through its expanded urban recovery and housing rehabilitation program to help members of the Yazidi community to return to their towns and villages as soon as they became accessible. The first phase of UN Habitat's urban recovery program in Sinjar, generously funded by the German government through UNDP, has seen the rehabilitation of 1,312 damaged houses and water and sanitation interventions in 15 towns and villages. The project has so far benefited over 10,000 Yazidis, also offering opportunities to local citizens to get involved in the renovation process and improve their livelihoods by providing much needed jobs and construction skills. In Sinjar, you inhabited pilot for the first time in Iraq, the social tenure domain model, an approach that was purposely designed to facilitate the recognition of land rights and claims in areas without an operating official land administration system and where tenure might be informal or disputed. For the first time in over 40 years, members of the Yazidi community received an official recognition of their housing, land and property rights. Providing security of tenure has represented a cornerstone for the rehabilitation project, putting conflict-affected people at the center of their own recovery and reconstruction. Mr. Naif will take this responsibility to hand over the certificates to the community of Sununi. Thank you very much, especially for the United Nations, who are the implementers of these plans with whom we work very closely. But mostly, thank you for you, because you are resilient people, and that's why you're still here, and that's why you will go in your new homes. UN Habitat, along with the Iraqi Minister of Justice and Nineveh Governorate, is working to obtain a formal government decision to convert the certificates of occupancy issued so far into full titles, granting all the Yazidis families that reside in Sinjar the right to officially own their properties so that they can resume their lives with a peace of mind.